Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys have had a phenomenal week. Today we're going to be comparing the Sphera and the Maris X-Free. So I've gotten a few requests to do a proper comparison between these two because the last time I did a comparison with the Sphera and the Scuba Pro. I link the video um, at the end somewhere. Anyway, but this is it. The fit of the Maris. against the Sphera. So what I thought we could look at is the size, the equalizing ability, how I feel when I'm equalizing, my view, the cost, any notable differences, if there's an advantage of the one over the other, um, how it fits on my face and anything that's worth noting, and lastly, my choice. So the size, as you guys can see, the Maris is a little bit smaller than the Sphera. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there. Um, so in size, the Maris is smaller, so it's easier to pack and it's easier to get around with. And with regard to fit, I would say that the Sphera is a little bit of a better fit because it fits nicely and flush against your face, making the volume in the mask way less than the Maris. So the question of volume in the mask um, when looking at fit, the sphere has lower volume, okay? And then when we're talking to equalizing ability, so as you guys will see in the video, the sphere for me is easier to get to the back of my nose so that I'm able to pinch properly in order to equalize and I still battle with the Maris. I tried it and it's just not working out for me. Um, so for me, the sphere then would come first. Uh, when you look at the view some people have said that there's a little bit of a distortion with the aqualung but i haven't seen anything like that i feel like the field of view is almost the same i could be wrong but that's my view so are there any notable differences between the two masks yes the x3 has a glass lens and the sphera has a plastic lens so i haven't come into any disadvantages with having the plastic lens except that it broke so my last uh, sphere mask broke when i was traveling back and just the lens just fell out and there was nothing i could do about it so it just kind of told me that the sphere mask is a little bit more fragile in general which would then make the maris a little bit more of a durable option if you were wondering and then lastly um Anything specific to note, I have a lot of friends who have the X-Free mask. So I think they are doing something good, but a lot of the guys who do underwater hockey, they wear the Sphera mask and they all just love this mask. So that's something worth noting, just in case you were curious. So for me, if I had to speak about advantage, uh, I would say that the Sphera mask obviously has the bigger advantage over the Maris because it sits nice and flush against your face and it's very, very low profile and you don't have to equalize it until you get to about 15, 16 meters, whereas you have to equalize this mask from about 10 meters. That is my experience. And lastly, when we look at cost, the Maris is a little bit more expensive than the Aqualung. So I think um, if I... If I remember properly, the X3 was about 800, 900, and I've gotten the Sphere mask for about 500, 600. So this is the more expensive mask. Anyway, I've made a video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know your thoughts. Let me know what mask you're using at the moment. And according to this comparison, which one you would prefer. Cheers, guys.
hope you guys have a phenomenal week thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and do drop me a comment below cheers <laughs>